Hello, everybody. My name's Ardendris, and welcome back to Tinchero Reincarnated. I'm in a bit of trouble. <laughs> so, I found a dragon. Last time, we found and defeated our first dragon and managed to get our first piece of, uh... of, uh, dragon essence. <laughs> oh, look, I actually got it this time, too. What is that thing? Oh, it must have broken a silver ore. Anyways, last time... We found our first dragon and managed to get our first piece of dragon essence ore. So between episodes, I went looking and managed to find another one. I was not prepared to activate it, though. I opened a chest right there to see what it was, because it was like one of these little things. And apparently that woke the dragon up. So I, I, we started a bit differently than I was expecting. I already have a pair of those running shoes, plus I don't really need them. Anyways, Dragon Essence number two. Oh, that's going to give me Magic Kill Poisoning. Didn't even think about that. Am I going to survive? Yes, it only lasted for a few seconds. Anyways, we now have two out of the ten we need. So we're getting there. I might want to change that config. Because it's specifically said right now so that it's only tier four or five dragons. I, I think I might change it to three. Just to make it a little bit easier on us. Although it's not like that's a thing that's going to help us throughout the entire thing. I think we specifically only need that for this evolution and maybe one other. So that might make it a little bit too easy. I mean, I've only found, like, a couple of them anyways. And I don't know, that's something I still have to think upon. I'm not going to change it just yet, but I might if I just can't find any others. Anyways, that's what happened here. Last time, other than finding our first Dragon Essence... We got up to some other stuff, too. So, um, I don't remember the exact order of how things went. After we beat the dragon and attempted to get, and got our first dragon essence, we attempted to become a Majin, which basically works by... Are you... Really? Trolls. You're, you're not an issue. I can just beat you up like this. I don't even have to look at you. Go away. <laughs> Really? Go away. <laughs> Anyways, we attempted to become a Majin, which basically you can do in a couple of different ways. One is to find a rare item in the ancient cities, but that way also has some drawbacks where I think it gets rid of max magicules or max HP, something like that. So it's not exactly a, uh, it's not exactly the kindest way of becoming a Majin. But you can also become a Majin by dying of Magicule Poisoning, although it's only like a 5% a chance. Thankfully, I have a way to very easily die of Magicule Poisoning. I just have to have Wrath activated for a minute or two, and it will get me up to 125% Magicules. And at that point, I'll start dying of Magicule Poisoning, and then it has a chance of giving it to me when I die. We did this 25 times last time. 5% chance. Did not get it. I probably should have, could have tried this again a bit more between episodes. But, uh, yeah, I still want to do that. I might take a little bit and just do that and actually showcase it today. But eventually I got tired of just doing that on its own, so I started exploring while I was doing it. So, we went out to the desert. Um, desert orcs right there. Where's the desert temple? And we found... This really cool desert temple. It's It's got some, like, cool puzzles. It's got... Well, that puzzle. <laughs> this puzzle, you just flip a couple of books to page 15. It was apparently difficult for me to get. This one, you just have to make it to the right uh, thing. And then that one, you have to time hitting the bullseye with the lights hitting the end, I'm fairly certain. So... All around a couple of fun little puzzles there. We managed to clear out this place. It didn't have much in the way of good loot, but outside waiting for us was our first otherworlder. So we actually beat Shogo, the berserker survivor otherworlder yesterday. We didn't actually get either of the skills, but he was there and it was fine and it was cool to finally fight one. <laughs> so I think that's about it for a recap. Like, we attempted to get it, but didn't. We attempted to get Majin, but didn't. We finally got Dragon Essence, and now we finally have two. 
And we finally fought an otherworlder after clearing out a cool dungeon. And I think that's it. Gravity, well, I might just get rid of it at this point. I'm pretty fast without it. And this slow fall kind of sucks a bit. That's a Charybdis cave. I'm sorry. How did I miss that? I was literally right there. Uh, let's slay the dragon so that it doesn't bother us. But uh, then we're going to go explore that. Can I land, please? Please, can I land? <laughs> um, Diamond path to activate it. Teleport. Except it won't let me teleport right now for some reason. Oh, this one's already dead. Oh, I must have... Oh, yeah, never mind. I killed that last time and then just didn't gather the uh, uh, scales because I didn't really need them. That's right. Anyways, cool thing. Cool thing I completely missed. Um... Just, just a note, this is a Charybdis cave, right? Maybe? Oh wait, no, this... I'm less sure about this being a Charybdis cave. It looks like the old school Charybdis cave, but it's different inside. Um... Uh, is this slow falling about to run out, please? Thank you. What is this place? Okay... Oh, a little bit of lag. Oh, that's a Charybdis core. Oh, I found a cool thing. We are 100% not ready to fight Charybdis. But I'm just going to take this with me. It's inactive, obviously. And this works a little bit differently. Before, you just had to get, like, a villager to stand on it. Or... It was villagers, it was, like, pillagers, which is, I think, all of them worked. Anything that could give you a soul in the original would give you, would be able to activate the crew of Discord. Or I think there was a way where you could just use a certain skill to do it instead, but you wouldn't fight it, you'd just get the skills. Anyways, now the way this works is you have to build up existence points in it. Like, everything works on an existence points system instead. Oh yeah, we got a couple new battle wills last time, including this really cool uh, teleportation one. But if I put this down... And I kill a husk. This now has 2,000 existence points. Okay, this thing takes the full of mounts. And you can see it there. I don't remember if this needs 2,000 or 20,000. It's one or the other. I don't recall right now. Can I just, like, beat someone up with it and get existence points in it that way? No. Didn't think so. Figured I'd try it. So I'm just gonna keep that in the back pocket. And eventually we'll fight Charybdis when we're not just a squishy little lizard. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, cool things are finally happening. Also, in between episodes, I did add in Nature's Compass. Because, as people are so kind to keep telling me in the... Uh, keep, people in the comment section keep telling me that there are certain biomes that have certain mobs and where to find said biomes. So I figured I might as well add something in to make it a little bit easier, because so far we're not actually getting to see a whole bunch of the cool stuff. Is this? <laughs> no idea. No idea what structure... What, no idea what mod that even comes from. <laughs> but... Anyways, what are we going to do today? I would like to keep hunting for dragons. Oh yes, I would like to see if I can't find an orc lord too. Apparently there's a 1 in 1000 chance, I believe, that any orc that spawns in will be an orc lord instead. And from there, you can get it to kill a whole bunch of things and it will spawn in the orc disaster. Um, doesn't look like we have it right here. Just a whole bunch of regular orcs, it looks like. I, if I remember correctly, they have like a hairpiece or something like that, from what I was reading, that denotes them to be special. Yeah, all of these are just regular orcs. I don't know, I'm just, I might just run across the desert for a little bit and hopefully find one. But otherwise, there are structures we need to find. We need to find the tree. Um, We need to find more dragons. Basically, we're in a little bit of a hunting game, trying to find the cool things. <laughs> Uh, I obviously want to fight more otherworlders. I want to find more of the cool mob. I want to find more of the cool monsters and whatnot. 
So I might just pick a direction and start running for a little bit. Uh, and while I'm going through it, I might as well just keep trying to get this. Um, just a whole bunch of regular orcs? Looks like it's just a whole bunch of regular orcs. Oh wait, regular desert temples do still exist. Okay. I guess that makes sense. We did see regular... Wait, this isn't a desert temple. We, we saw our regular nether fortress while also finding the cool nether fortresses. So I guess it would make sense if they do exist, though. Even though this isn't one. Use the sword. This is going to be so much faster. Oh yeah, our sword is now pure magisteel. It evolved. <laughs> but... Is this just a little house with nothing in it? Or does it actually have something down below? Um, nothing really in there. Be careful. Years of Minecraft have taught me to be careful when digging into what you think might be a nether fortress, or a, uh, desert temple. Doesn't look like this actually has anything, though. Anyways, I guess I'm just going to keep attempting to get Majin for right now. Oh. Oh, hello there. Hi. Um, <laughs> I found it. Hi. Hello, Orc Lord. <laughs> Hi. I mean, I f <laughs> I'm finally finding the cool things. Can I get a bit closer, please, without you trying to eat me? The answer is no. The answer is of course no. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> I knew I was gonna die if I got too close, but still. Hey, I got to showcase the thing I wanted to. Let's head back to the desert, shall we? This episode has already gone weird. Like, I was like, oh, there we found some cool things. Oh, wait. Oh, a new cool thing. <laughs> I wish I could find this other cool thing. Oh, wait. Oh, there's the new cool thing, too. What is happening? Um, where's the right death marker? Actually, teleporting to this death marker is a bad idea. Oh, that gives wither and really bad poisoning. Oh, and corrosion. Okay, yeah, we're just going to keep dying if we go back there. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, so, note to self, we cannot fight an orc lord yet. We we need to evolve. I, I just need to be stronger, and I cannot do that as a base lizard. <laughs> but, there's also a couple other things I could do. Like, I kind of want to showcase the magic system, but we can't find a tree. Although, that's probably not going to go well either. I don't know. I think for right now, we're just going to leave the orc lord alone. I'm going to start running in direction and working towards getting... Where's my fly ability? There it is. Oh yeah, also I maxed out all seeing eye between episodes. Basically all that did is make it so that I can toggle it so we're always in that F5 mode. But I don't really want to do that. I'd rather just have it uh, turn on button mode. Anyways, as I said, I'm just going to keep working towards getting Majin. While I'm doing this, I'll also start training up my wrath ability a bit more, which would be nice. I'll see you when I find something cool, or when I get Majin activated. That didn't take very long. I literally went like 100 blocks west and found a mesa, which is a new biome, and it's completely full of armosauruses. <laughs> that are currently trying to beat me up. Oh, is that a, uh, looks like one of the zombie villages. Anyways, we did find and fight armor sources last time, and we made a shield out of their shells. But I think their armor could be pretty good, so it's probably worth it to beat up a bunch while we're here. Although I have activated gravity well and now cannot land. <laughs> I really don't real I don't need gravity well anymore. I should remove that from the hotbar so I don't keep doing that. Um, actually, I have some other skills I want to learn more more commonly, so. Aura Sword or Ogre Sword? Ogre Sword is closer. You can take the spot. <laughs> but we got slimes, or orcs, and armor sources. That's apparently all that can spawn in mesas. Or at least that's what I've been told spawns here. It's possible there's something else that we haven't seen yet or I haven't been told about. I guess we'll have to wait and see about that. So, while I'm here, I'm just going to beat up a bunch of these. 
How much armor source? Okay, I have 25. That's enough for the full armor set already. That's basically what I want him for, so I don't think I need to hunt many more right now. And I don't really need the EP. Use mouse cursor or oh, tab button to again. select elements. I did it again. I hate the narrator so much. We're up to 108,000. Narrator, narrator, narrator. Yeah, we're, we're basically up to 108,000 EP already without even really trying to grind it, so that's pretty good. It's not. We don't really need EP for our current race, but it will be good when we do. Anyways, I think that's a jungle temple, which I'm going to loot. And then I'm actually going to start trying to attain, trying to learn Wrath and get to Majin as well. Instead of just randomly finding cool things. Um, where's the entrance to this place? Do I really care? No, just dig in. <laughs> Down here. And this technically could have some good loot. The kitty slippers, so I don't need to deal with creepers. Thing is, creepers don't exist anymore, so that's not important. Ow, rude. Eh, just a little bit of gold, nothing super important. Anyways, with that, time to just pick a new direction. Uh, actually, let's make the nature's compass real quick, <laughs> instead of just randomly going in a direction. Um, logs, sapling, compass. That's all pretty simple, I'm literally right here next to a forest. And I already have the logs, and compasses are easy. So let me just... Really game? Can I have the saplings, please? Or are you gonna gonna be rude about it and just give me one every, like... That's an apple! <laughs> Fine, let me get these saplings real quick, because apparently the game doesn't want to. And nature's compass, here we go. <laughs> Uh, you and you and you. Once again, as usual, too much junk, not enough space. Anyways. Uh, that's just a Cyclops cave. We can just go in there and, like, two-shot a, a Cyclops real quick. We want to find a dark forest. There it is. Apparently, this can spawn in a lot of the mobs in, from this mod. 329-2000. 329 2000 is. Nope, it's that direction. Okay, the direction I already wanted to go. Cool, that works for me. 329 2000, yep. Uh, only about 600 blocks. That's not going to take us too long. I might as well do the wrath thing while I'm going. And I might as well just stop to beat up a Cyclops real quick. That's a whole lot of turtles. Uh, it's a four-shot on a giant cyclops. That's pretty good, I think. Anyways, don't really think I care about the food options in there. If I can become a Majin, I never have to worry about food ever again. So that's kind of why I want it. So I just need to go this way. 329-2000. That should be pretty much no problem. If I can make it out of this forest, I'll, I'll see you over there. Ah, I missed it. Ah, there it is. There's a giant bat. There's also fairies, which are terrifying. I don't want to get my stuff stolen. <laughs> and it's not like I have, like, a wide area of effect attack that I can just kill all the fairies at once. But that bat, we're going to be going to see. Any of the other new mobs here just immediately? Um, no, you're just a boring old Bargus. We've seen plenty of you already. Fairies are going to be a problem. But how are we going to... I can fly. How do I keep forgetting that I can fly? I don't understand it. Did it actually drop anything? Or did it get destroyed by lightning? I never took off this necklace. This necklace sucks. Like, this necklace is just bad. <laughs> I don't have something to replace it with right now. So that will just have to do. So, we killed a giant bat, we just didn't get the rewards from it. Thankfully, another one immediately spawned. What are you? Oh, it's the caterpillar thing. Oh, cute. Um, I'm assuming you evolve into the, uh, moth somehow, but I have no idea how. Get over here, batty. Ah, I got the wing pieces. Uh, I already have the thing to make the glider, right? I think so. Uh, because I didn't get a thing right there. Hello, giant spider, black spider. Arachnophobic. Cool. 
Oh, we now get the web gun schematic. Cool. So now we can make a web shooter. <laughs> Steel thread. Steel thread. Oh, I'm so glad we finally found this because now we can make the cool ant crossbow. Um, I need to make inventory space. Um, I don't need two raw uncooked chicken. And the spider fangs, what are you used for? Spider dagger. I'm assuming I'm going to need a dagger schematic for that, because I don't think I can make those yet. Or maybe that the web shooter thing just unlocked it too, despite saying it was only for the one. Um, anything else hanging about in here? We've got our little caterpillar friends. Um, that's just a block on the ground. <laughs> What else have we got? Uh, those looks like some of our same old enemies we fought like a million times before. Normal slime, normal slimes. Okay, we're still seeing a lot of the same old mobs we've beaten plenty of times before. But at least some of the new ones are finally showing up as well. Get over here, little baddie friend. Get down here. I can fly! Once again, I forget I can fly. Why is that so hard for me to remember? <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> can you... I missed? Rude. Rude. Oops, I'm on Unrage, not... I missed. Get over here. Gotcha. Give me... <laughs> Whoops! I made that uh, I made that fish very angry. <laughs> Where's the bat wings? Oh, you can actually eat the bats too. Cool. Oh, that's sticky thread. I thought that was just like normal string. What are you used for? Oh, web cartridges. You are used for the weapons. Cool. Oh, I don't need. I, I I took a swing, but I don't think I killed that wolf. I think the I think the uh. A slime did that itself. I think I missed. Oops, I have made an angry slime. Uh, I'm just gonna go the other way. So yeah, things have gone weird. Finally found the new mobs. And... Yeah. <laughs> so much so much has happened already. Like, we found the orc disaster and died. Or not, disaster orc lord. Ugh. We found a dragon immediately, and we're promptly fighting before the episode even started. <laughs> Um, we're avoiding pixies like the plague. <laughs> Ugh. I don't think the game likes this biome very much, or at least the rain and this biome combined. But here we have a little cherry blossom grove, which is pretty. I, of course, I fell in a hole. <laughs> let me out of here, please. Come on, let me out. Come on. Ugh. Game is not happy. Did the game just crash? Game is not having a good time right now. I'm gonna have to turn off rain, I think. I'll see you when this fixes itself. As soon as I hit pause recording, it fixed itself. That is a big B. Hi. You're kinda cute. What what are you even? Um, an army wasp. Okay. Can I I can't right click you for anything. I'm curious. I, I have a feeling a lot of these mobs have some sort of hidden use. I have no idea what. Like, I'm assuming I could kill you thing for like a stinger or something like that, and it will be uh and we'll make like a dagger of some sort. I just somehow assume that's the case. Oh, we have so many cool special swords that I'm assuming we can make somehow. Either that or they're like really rare drops. What else is in here? The moth silk is coming soon, so those don't have a purpose yet. Serpent scales. Insectar carapace, again coming soon. Okay, so some of the mobs have their purposes in already. Some of them don't seem to yet. Good to know. That makes sense. This is a pretty new version. Holy water's not in yet. Okay. Oh, there's the marionette heart. A rare item to continue into a Majin at the cost of half the max health and most of the current magicules. Yeah, we're not doing that. We're going to get it the other way. <laughs> Anything else interesting here? A whole bunch of different schematics. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm, 
I might as well beat up one of those wasps. I want to see if they have a drop, and if so, what it will give us, because I didn't see it immediately. Sorry, bee friend. Oh, that's the carapace. Okay, so we technically can beat up the, uh, the bees, and they will eventually have a reason to do so. But for right now, it's just kind of rude. They're giant cute bees. Why, do, why would you beat them up? <laughs> but... How do we got anything else new hanging around? Uh, so hound. Um, looks like there's no other new mobs right now. You know what? I should probably mark this place. Eat up a couple more bats, because oh my goodness, a bunch of them just spawned. Uh, come down here so I can beat you up. Can you please come down here so I can beat you up? Fine, I'll come up there to you, if I can press the right button. Got you. Got you. Cool. Let's pick up as much of this stuff as we can. And time to... Oh, that's a lot of bats. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's a, it's a whole bat colony. <laughs> Took so long to finally found them, and when we do, there's like 20 of them. That's a, that's a bit excessive. Anyways, I'm gonna mark this place as new mobs or roofed forest, I guess, works too. Ah, oh, so many. Like, actually, way too many. Get over, get away from me. Anyways, let's go mark this so we can always come back. Ugh, game is not happy. Then I need to do, go deal with inventory stuff, and then I guess we're going to try and become a Majin again? Either that or I go dragon hunting, although technically I could do both at the same time. Game, can you stop breaking, please? Oh, I found the moth! Um, as it said, you don't actually have a purpose yet? Ow, why are Fine, I was going to let you just be cute and exist, but if you want to pick a fight, then so be it. Um... Uh, just like the other carapace, that doesn't have a purpose yet. Ah, I swung right through it and it didn't die. I still need to go mark that. Uh, so let's go in over here. Get over here. Thank you. Mark this as roofed forest. Flash new mobs. And then... I know you don't have a purpose, but I might as well just pick you up anyways. Let's head back to the Sky Village. And from here, I have a whole bunch of inventory stuff to deal with. I'll see you in a moment. Okay, so inventory is mostly dealt with. I might have accidentally uh, right-clicked on a hover lizard, so now it keeps trying to eat me. <laughs> Can I actually name you yet? Uh, the target does not want to submit. Obviously, I beat it on EP. I beat it on spiritual HP, but I don't beat it on regular HP. Actually, if I was full health, I would. Would that be enough? Uh, I'm trying to remember. I saw what the thing is. The target does not want to submit. Um, If I punch one hover lizard, will they all attack me? Because I remember reading something where uh, if, you, if you lower something's health, it, it becomes easier to tame it. Oh, yep. They all want to eat me now. Where are you? Um, where's the hover lizard I actually hit? No! Target does not want to submit. Aha! That one wants to submit now! Um, evolve the target. Um, what's a random name? Clayman. Sure. From now on, your name is... Oh, and now it's fighting the rest of them and it's about to die. Uh... <laughs> Did Clayman actually die? Yep, Clayman actually died. And now they're both dead. Cool. <laughs> yeah, taming is not easy. Technically, I just named something and tamed it. It did not go well. <laughs> it also took a lot of magicules for something as simple as a, uh, for, uh, as a hover lizard. <laughs> Thing is, that's one of the weakest things in the mob I think you can tame. 
Maybe I should go and get my... I'm going to go get my dire wolves in a moment, I think, and try to name those as well. But before we do, there's a couple things I want to make real quick. Starting with the ant crossbow. I forgot to grab out a piece of iron. Now that I have steel thread, I can actually make these. Also, weather clear again, it keeps breaking the game. And, and it just turned off. And crossbow, now we have it. Yeah, it just works like a normal crossbow, except it has EP and will grow stronger. I'm assuming it will probably do more damage too, but you can't just tell that by looking at it. So, you will never be used again. Goodbye. And I don't think I'm going to be using you ever again either. I could cook you, but you're only ever used for this. I don't want to eat ant legs. I also don't need ant carapace. Because I'm going to be making armor source armor, which is just better as a start. One moment. Okay, I thought someone was knocking on my door. Turns out it was just someone running down the hallway. Then I just went ahead and uh, used my skills a little bit. I guess, guess a little bit of magic kills back using wrath. And just steel strength and aura sword or or ogre sword guillotine is now learned. Um, I'll have to see how good that is in a moment once it's off cooldown. So this has fifty point five attack damage if I use ogre sword guillotine. Doesn't change anything there. Oh no, it's already pretty glowy. I don't know if it's actually going to do more damage now. I don't really have a good test target. Hold on, dummy is in. Um, m -m -m uh, target dummy. I just need to. Oh yeah, I forgot that mod was in. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna make one of those real quick. <laughs> Sometimes some series I just end up spawning them in because why? Um, but no, I'll make it legitimately right now. Um, just get that started. I'll deal with that in a moment. Anyways, what I was gonna do before I got interrupted. I'm gonna make the Armosaurus armor. It's just better than the ant stuff, and it's probably weaker than this tier stuff at this point. Seven on the leggings? Okay, it's the same. It actually has more... It has less armor toughness. But this... That stuff is also enchanted. And I'll make the boots just to have them. But also... Uh, okay, I need to actually put them on at some point to actually activate the fact that they're supposed to have EP. I've noticed that with a couple of things. Hi, fish. So 6,000 EP, it's definitely a whole bunch less. Plus, it's not enchanted, so it's just objectively worse than my current armor. But it looks cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like this armor. It I think it looks cool. It's uh, the backpack kind of ruins the aesthetic, but I, ca I can't turn that invisible. <laughs> okay, I know it's worse, but I want to wear it. Actually, it's just armor toughness for right now, and that's because this stuff is enchanted. Sure, uh, I'm just going to put the boots on as the cosmetic thing instead. And I'll hold on to this extra armor just in case I ever need it. Cool. Now I will never use armor source scales again. That's, that's kind of a rough thing with this mod, actually. Like, if, if you make something once, you never have to make it again. Also, I still need to make that dummy, so let me finish up with this real quick. I figured I'd attempt at least one more, uh, one more shot at getting Majin real quick. Come on, come on. No, come on, it's 5%. I've done it like 26 times now. Really, game? Whatever, we'll get it eventually. Anyways, I need a couple more sticks than I currently have. You turn into you. I never actually made the more sticks because I'm silly. Recipe. I need a hay bale because, again, I'm silly and just forgetting everything. I can just make it in here, goof. There we go, target dummy. <laughs> so now, let's just put this down right like, over here. Normal punch, 1.5. Activate Ogre Sword, 2.25. Okay, that's 50%. How long does that stay active? I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't actually show up anywhere. Okay, that's 10. How long do we think that was? 20, 30 seconds, maybe? Anyways, regular sword swing. 
51. 51. Okay, it's always going to be 51. Turn this on. 68.25. That's an extra 17.25, which is one third. Okay, yeah, okay. I was at a 50% boost on a regular punch, but only a third on a uh, sword swing is a... Not entirely sure, but that's still really good. And then if we turn on strength, we go up all the way to 86. And if we wait for Ogre Sword to actually come off... 63. 63 to 86.25. Okay, I'm suddenly doing a whole bunch of damage. That's, uh, that's pretty good, isn't it? Like, I, I feel pretty decent about that. <laughs> so, uh, obviously the dummy also doesn't have armor like a lot of the stuff from the Tenshira mod does. So it's not exactly a fair comparison. But I still think that's a pretty good amount. <laughs> ah, we only have one of you, which means we can actually tame a hover lizard right now. I can only punch you once, though. Target does not want to submit. I have to wait for strength to turn off. Come on. Go away, strength. Thank you. Okay, now you'll submit. I want to endow, subdue, or evolve. Let's go for endow, I guess. And what shall we call you? Hover lizard... Um, what have we got in the randomizer? Orneus, Ifrit, Professor Aka, something. Visiela Memoirs, Regird, Min Aragon. This is ca both characters from the show, like Xion, Soe, Regird. But then it's like the people who actually made the mod, too. Arthur, Hakaro. Sure, you get to be Veldora. Why not? Out of Magicules. Oh, I cannot endow you. I guess I'm going to have to keep you as normal. I've suddenly forgotten how to spell Veldora. Well, um, can I find it again in this list, please? Where is it? I, I actually remembered before I even found it. That's how you spell Voldora, right? Involve name. You get a little flash of light. It's glowing. Full health. And we can actually not ride you right now because I need a saddle or something. Thank you. You're not very strong, but you exist and you're cute. Um, I can make you set to wander, set to stay. And then do I specifically need a monster saddle or do I just need a regular saddle? I know I can make both, or I should be able to make both. Um, where's in this list? Monster Saddle, there it is. Uh, C, I need Pure Magisteel. Okay, thankfully I have some. Or I can make some. I need... That's at 8 Pure Magisteel ingots, right? Which I cannot make, I have to make... An interesting. Bit weird. Oh well, Pure Magisteel ingots... We just need the steel thread, which I guess is going to have other uses. And then it's type C armor, or type C leather. I have an unfinished stack somewhere that I'd rather use first. There it is. I already had some on me. And thus we have a monster saddle. Yay! And one extra one of these that I guess I'll just put in here. Why not? That can just go... That can go on? I? Inventory, there we go. You just need a regular saddle, of course. <laughs> and you it looks like you'll also take horse armor, which I also... Oh, I have horse armor at least. I don't have a saddle because I didn't think I'd need one. How do I make a saddle again? This added in the recipe for it? I thought. There it is. Iron, string, and a D. Cool. And I have all that. Um, where's my string? Oh, hi, why are you following me? I thought I set you to stay. There's that. And that. 
make a saddle. There we go. Get on you and there you go. Oh, you're very cute. Oh, I, I like your armor. You're very cute. <laughs> um, well, we finally named and tamed a thing. Finally, we are only eight episodes, nine episodes in, something like that. Um, the monster saddle, I guess, gets to go in here. And I have more inventory stuff to deal with real quick, because now I'm full of junk again. Okay, I'm not entirely sure why it's called a hover lizard. Because it just jumps, it does not hover. But I can, if I press R, make it attack things while I'm riding it, so that's something, I guess. And hey, we actually have something now. Who's actually quite a bit slower than us. Oh, we can swim on it. That's good. I was a bit afraid we'd just get knocked off and lose it in the water like it was a normal horse. But thankfully not. Although swimming is also a bad idea because, you know, giant fish will try and eat us. Yeah, I should probably leave Veldora here at home. But I do now want to go grab my, uh, my direwolves too. So let's, let's get Veldora home and then I'm going to run and grab them. And I guess I'll try to name one of them, too. Like, one of them's getting named Ranga, because of course it is. You can stay here. Time to go get the puppies. Although, getting them all the way home is going to be a pain. Thank you. Hello, puppies. Um, Can I just name you since I already own you? Yes, I can. I'm assuming... I'm going to assume that this is not going to work. Out of Magicule. Okay. Okay, I don't need a saddle or anything from you, but you are so much faster. Let me uh, let me off. Thank you. Let me, let me off. It. Thanks, game. I wanted to get off the direwolf so that I could, you know, fight, but the shift button did not work. For whatever reason, it would not let me off my direwolf. Okay, you're both set to follow. Sadly, I'm now down to two. One of you will eventually be Ranga when I can endow you with power and thus make you like evolve and whatnot. As I, I I I got a little bit of a tip that you need to evolve a wolf to like as high as it can go before becoming a demon a lord in order to evolve into like an even higher, cooler form. But for right now they just get to hang around like this. Uh, I'm gonna assume you don't work as trunk loaders, so just doing this isn't going to work. Yep, didn't think so. I'm gonna have to bring them home the long way. Oh, joy. And they're on a completely different island. The only way was across water, and I turned my back for 30 seconds trying to build a pillar so that it'll just teleport instead of swimming slowly the whole way. And of course, it spawns two giant fish on top of my tames to kill them. Because why wouldn't it? That's not, not exactly a huge fan of that game design right there. I guess we're going to have to tame some wolves a bit closer to home next time. Oh, well. Really not a fan of how that happened. <laughs> Anyways, I have more fish to just toss in the chest somewhere. And I guess, looking at the time, it's probably a pretty good place to end things off. But I do want to get Majin today. Today has been not exactly as planned. Wrong thing. We I don't take fall damage. <laughs> Suddenly, fearing for a moment that I do in fact take fall damage, despite knowing that I don't. Because of course. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to get Majin before we end off today. So I'm just going to keep dying to uh, Wrath for a little bit. I'll see you when I have it. Okay, not a Majin yet, but I did just activate Wrath. I do 110 damage with everything activated. <laughs> Wrath is like a five times multiplier because I have tempt I have tested this with just uh, strength and the ogre sword on, and I was doing about 20. So yeah, Wrath's pretty powerful. It's literally like a five times multiplier for my damage. Plus, it also gives me, like, extra speed and stuff. So, yeah, this is a very powerful skill. Like, Ogre Sword just ran out. And Strength's gonna run out in just a moment. 
at, let's, let's just see. If it's only Wrath, nothing else activated, how much damage do I do? This is also only Rampage 1, to note. 61.5. 61.5. Damage. Ogre Sword, 92. Steel Strength, 110. Yeah, I'm pretty powerful. Like, stupid drowned. Yeah, and the thing is, that's only Rampage 1. I have yet to actually reach Rampage 2 in this world, I think. It only gets stronger from there. Anyways, I still want to become a Majin real quick. It just won't happen for some reason. Finally, 5% chance took 30 tries, but finally we're Imagine. <laughs> Which, uh, did not boost our max magicules at all, or I, or our, our, or our EP. Words are hard. But now, we basically never have to eat again. We will only ever lose one hunger thing. And, I also don't need to breathe. <laughs> Which is kind of cool. So now I can just exist underwater forever now. I think it does one other thing, but I can't remember right now. Uh, or the, is that a shark? No, it's a fish. Is that fish trying to eat a drowned? Yes, that fish is trying to eat a drowned. Interesting. <laughs> Anyways, we finally became a Majin. <laughs> it just took forever. Now I want to double check this. Is it just water breathing and no eating? It might be. I'm not entirely sure. I thought there was one other thing, but I might be wrong. Okay, so I guess it is just no longer eating and no longer needing to breathe. Other than that, it's just a requirement to become a demon lord. So I guess there's that, at least. So if we wanted to, we could become a demon lord lizard. Although we're probably going to be changing race before that happens. Basically, I need to find out how to make the better leather. <laughs> Uh, mm. I I'm gonna try and get enough dragon essence in order to evolve into a Drago Newt, and then from there, I'm probably gonna switch at this point. I want to showcase the other things. <laughs> but there are definitely other things we need to find. Like, we need to find a portal to a different dimension. Technically, we need to find two portals to different dimensions, because that's technically what the Labyrinth and the uh, Underworld portal are. So, uh, We'll have to see about both of those. Hopefully I'll be able to find them at some point. Maybe I should add in the, uh... There's a companion to Nature's Compass called Dungeon's Compass. That might be a good idea to add in. Or I just do slash locate. That is also an option. Actually, I'm curious. What other mobs... Oh yeah, I could have just located Viome as well. But Tenshura adds in... Is it just two structures or is there a couple more than that? Oh, there's a whole bunch more than that. Ant Nest, Charybdis Cave, Goblin Village, Gates, Red Sand, Sand, Labyrinth Tree, Lizard Man Village. Oh, yeah, there's Lizard Man Villages we have to go find. I think those are in, like, swamps and stuff. So, yeah, there's a bit more for us to find. Maybe I should go hunting for a swamp. I'm, I assume a Lizard Village might actually have a chance to drop or have Liz uh, Dragon Essence in there. It feels like that would be the best place to go looking for it, to just get it as a uh, loot reward instead. I don't know. <laughs> as soon as I can find the better leathers, because we have yet to actually find where, where to find leather type A's. Maybe blade tigers? We haven't managed to beat one yet. They always one-shot us. So that could be a good place to check. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, hold on, hold on. Bat wings, I need a single low. I almost forgot there was one more thing I wanted to make. And then I need some of you. Make one of these things. And I need a bat glider. This goes on the back, right? It's basically an Elytra. I have rip off Elytra. Good enough? <laughs> we. Why not? I don't... Oh, what just happened there? Why did we just go flying like that? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah, I have, like, super speed and jump boost. Ow. Yep, those are coming off. Figured I'd make them. 
We have them now. I don't want to die. I'm going to die if I use those things. Anyways, I've started the outro like three times now. I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have, and hope to see you next time. So, without further ado, take care, everybody. Figured I'd train up a couple of skills.